Namaskar and good evening. As uh, JSXP has uh, just mentioned, uh, today is uh, day two of the Prime Minister's visit uh, to Rome uh, for the G20 summit. Um, it has been a full day of engagements and uh, the day hasn't ended. Uh, there are still a few uh, events that the Prime Minister is uh, uh, scheduled to attend. Uh, on, the first, uh, on his first engagement of the day, uh, the Prime Minister called on His Holiness, uh, Pope Francis, uh, at the Vatican. You are already uh, aware of some of the details of that uh, very special meeting. Uh, but uh, as you know, this is uh, a unique occasion as uh, the last interaction between the Prime Minister of India uh, and uh, the Pope was in June uh, 2000 when late Prime Minister Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee uh, met Pope John Paul II at the Vatican. Um, this is a private audience that the Prime Minister had uh, with the Pope. Uh, the two leaders discussed uh, many topical issues, uh, including the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, economic and health recovery from the pandemic, uh, the issue of climate change and the environment. Um, you can judge uh, the warmth of the conversation by the fact that the meeting was to have been uh, uh, a 20-minute uh, uh, schedule, uh, but uh, lasted for around an hour. Um, the Prime Minister invited uh, Pope Francis uh, to visit India at an early date. Uh, the last papal visit to India was in 1999, when Pope John Paul II visited India. Uh, the Pope has uh, graciously attended uh, the Prime Minister's, uh, uh, accepted the Prime Minister's invitation and in his own words, I'm paraphrasing him, he says, you have given me the greatest gift. I'm looking forward to visiting India. Uh, the Prime Minister presented uh, His Holiness with a, a silver candle stand uh, and a book on, the, on, on our commitment to the environment. Uh, the Pope reciprocated with a bronze plaque with the inscription, the desert will become a garden. As you know, this is a quote from the Old Testament. Uh, Prime Minister also had a brief meeting uh, with uh, the Secretary of State of the Vatican, His Eminence, Cardinal Pietro Parolin. Prime Minister then subsequently uh, visited uh, the venue of the G20 summit, uh, where he attended uh, the uh, inaugural ceremony uh, with the other leaders. And thereafter, he attended the first session uh, on the global economy and global health. Um, in his intervention uh, at this uh, uh, first event uh, of the G20, the Prime Minister highlighted India's contribution in the fight against the pandemic. He, he mentioned India's medical supply to over 150 countries. Uh, he uh, spoke about uh, our uh, vision of uh, One Earth, One Health, which is essentially uh, the need for a collaborative approach uh, uh, in the international domain uh, in the fight against the corona pandemic. Uh, I'm talking about collaboration from R&D, research, uh, uh, to collaboration in actually uh, you know, combating pandemics, uh, collaboration across the board in uh, you know, developing uh, mechanisms that can cope with future pandemics and future global health issues. Uh, so the concept of One Earth, One Health, I think, is uh, something that uh, was uh, uh, enunciated by the Prime Minister, well received by uh, G20 leaders, because this is something that I think is uh, uh, very, very important to the international community, and we are looking for comprehensive global solutions that can address issues uh, that also deal with uh, problems of uh, inequity, uh, problems that developing country, countries face, and this is, again, uh, another uh, approach towards the overall concept of the global common good uh, that the Prime Minister has spoken of on a number of occasions.